Happy New Year sa lahat. Uh, ito yung unang linggo this uh, year 2020. It is the first Sunday of the month. And uh, I have vowed that uh, uh, every Sunday, I'm going to share uh, biblical thoughts na kailangan din natin. Matututo tayo sa salita ng Panginoon kasi sa salita kasi ng Panginoon, Doon tayo natututo ng mga values, doon tayo humuhugot ng lakas, at doon din tayo nagkakaroon ng wisdom in knowledge. Diba sabi natin noon, the beginning of knowledge and wisdom is the fear of the Lord. So today, yung aking uh, thought for the day is found in Ephesians 6.13. So babasahin ko siya bago ko i-expound. By the help of the Holy Spirit who will teach me how to teach this verse. Okay, so sabi niya dito sa Ephesians 6.13 Therefore, put on the full armor of God that when the day of evil will come, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Uh, when we see stand dito, ang tinutukoy niya is we need to stand firm. Stand firm saan? Kasi most of the time pag uh, dumarating ang New Year, lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang New Year's Resolution. Yung New Year's Resolution na ating inaano sa ating buhay is yung pagbabago. Some are having New Year's Resolution na magpapapayat, magpapataba, magbabago ng buhay, hindi nagagawin yung dating ginagawa, and a lot of our New Year's resolution. Pagdating ng the whole year, at the end of the year, you come to your inventory, nagawa mo ba yung New Year's resolution mo? Yon ang tanong. So here comes another New Year again, gagawa ka ulit ng another New Year's resolution. Pero, ang ating mga New Year's resolution, sa totoo lang, hindi natin magagawa kung wala ang Panginoon sa atin na tumutulong. You don't have the will to fulfill if you don't have the Lord in you. Kung hindi mo kilala ang Panginoon sa iyong buhay. Pag kilala mo kasi ang Panginoon at takot ka sa Panginoon, gusto niyang gawin mo. So, yun po. So, ano po yung full armor of God? Itong full armor of God ay ito yung protection sa atin para malayo sa mga temptation. ba? Kung tayo ay nag pray sinasabi natin na Lead me, lead me not into temptation. Yung prayer na our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Yung the word temptation. So, most of the time, we are being tempted. I mean, yung mga gusto mong gawin, hindi mo nagagawa. Yung tamang gusto mong gawin, hindi mo nagagawa. Pero yung ayaw mong gawin, nagagawa mo. Later on, pag nagawa mo na, saka ka nalang magsisisi, diba? So, we need to stand and put on the full armor of God. So, ano nga ba yung full armor of God? So, Yung isang binanggit dito sa ating binasa ay uh, we have this, the truth. Yung katotohanan. Ano nga ba ang katotohanan sa iyong buhay? ba If you have the truth, you have Christ in you, and you believe in His Word, you believe in Him, ano man yung mga gusto niyang gawin mo, ginagawa mo. Truth sometimes yung hindi natin naiiwasan yung pagsisinungaling, yung pagiging anis natin, di ba? Hindi tayo perfecto. Lahat hindi natin magagawa in a perfect way. Kaya lang, kung tayo ay nagkakasala, at least man lang, meron yung sa, sa heart natin o kaya in our conscience na pag kinalbit ka ng iyong conscience na, uy, mali yan. At least man lang, you are quick to ask forgiveness. Kasi we are not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But at least, when you sin, you are quick to ask forgiveness. Yung truth is your being honesty. Ika nga is, honesty is the best policy. 
Another armor of God is yung righteousness. What is right and what is wrong? In our natural conscience or our natural instinct, because it is a gift, sabi natin na yung natural instinct, that is a gift from God. Wherein, each one of us actually know what is right and what is wrong. So, if you know what is right, you do what is right. Pero kung you know what is wrong, tapos ginagawa mo pa rin, that is unrighteousness. So, kailangan yung righteousness sa atin. I mean, at least man lang you have the power to say no. di ba? Sa mga maling gawain. Another one is readiness. Readiness at all times. Sometimes mga problems, hindi natin maiiwasan na dumarating sa ating buhay. Kung hindi ka ready, ayan, diyan ka nananak out or diyan ka nagkakaroon ng, ng tawag nito. Kung hindi ka ready sa lahat ng bagay, hindi mo mahaharap ang problema. Kaya maraming nadidepress. Maraming nawawalan ng pag-asa because they are not ready to to face the problem. So, kailangan yung readiness. So, how are you going to read yourself? Many times, God allow trials and problems to come in our lives. So, kung nire-reject natin at hindi natin imbis na titingnan natin yung positive side of it, nasa always nasa negative side tayo. Most of the time, ganun ang nangyayari. But at least man lang, at the end of the day, iisipin mo yung positive side. Ika nga, in everything, you have to give thanks to the Lord because everything has a purpose. Maybe naghihirap ka ngayon, kinabukasan, God will return all what is uh, being being lost unto you. Kung nawalan ka ng dignidad, nang, nawalan ka ng kabuhayan, nawalan ka ng, ng kung ano man ang nawala sa iyong buhay, later on, ibabalik ng Panginoon. So, you need to be ready for at all times sa lahat ng problema na darating sa iyo. So, kung may problema, harapin mo. Harapin mo and find a way to solve it positively. Otherwise, kung puro negative na lang, later on, ang hirap i-deal yan, pag hindi mo madi-deal yan, yun yung mga na stress ka hanggang sa magkaroon ka ng depression. Okay, yung acceptance, sometimes we need to accept the reality. Another one is peace. Yung peace na sinasabi dito, karamihan sa atin kasi pag nagkakaproblema tayo, wala tayong katahimikan. Hindi tayo nakakatulog. By the way, the number one thing that God is looking into our heart is pag dumating yung problema, what is our response? Do we response is it peacefully? Or do we grumble? Do we complain? Do we murmur? Ano pa ba yung mga response natin? Many times negative talaga at first. But at least man lang, after you have think it over, after mo ma-realize na kailangan mo palang i-face yung problema mo, you have to solve it positively so that peace will come unto you. If you have peace or the peace of God, yun yung tinatawag nating peace that surpasses all understanding. If you have that one, May problema ka man, may trials ka, hindi ka nasasaktan. Nagkakaroon ka na ng pagkakataon na mag-focus to face that problem. To focus on the solution of that problem. Instead of thinking many other negative things. Okay? Try your best to have that peace. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Another one is faith. Faith is yung ating paniniwala. Paniniwala na kahit hindi natin nakikita ang Panginoon, alam natin na nandyan siya. Alam natin na binabantayan tayo. So kung meron kang paniniwala, then you give your trust to Him. We do not give our trust to our finances, to our uh, whoever is there. Hindi po yun kasi ano, ang una nating uh, pagkatiwalaan ay ang Panginoon. Hindi man lang, hindi man natin siya nakikita at least kung ibibigay natin yung trust sa kanya then everything will be fine for us another one is salvation oh yung salvation oh di ba sa John 3:16 sabi doon for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. The word believes. Do we believe in Jesus Christ? Patatapos lang ang Christmas. Basta ang alam natin sa Christmas, magbigayan ng mga gift. Ng mga, ano, nandun sa Santa Claus na magbibigay ng gift sa atin. Hindi po yun. The essence of love is uh, if we love Jesus Christ, if we believe in Him, we will do what He wants us to do. We will do His will. Sabi doon, those who believes in Him will have everlasting life. Eh yung mga hindi naniniwala, anong mangyayari sa kanila? Everlasting life yung, yung katapat ng naniniwala kay Jesus. Pero yung mga hindi naniniwala, of course, there will be no everlasting life for them. Pag namatay tayo, saan? We have only two choices to go. Diba? So, remember, life is eternal. So, as for me, I will desire the eternal life. So, we have to believe in Jesus Christ first before we can have that everlasting life na sinasabi niya. That is what we call salvation. So, if we are saved, then we share to others so that they will also know the Lord, makikilala ang Panginoon, and their soul will be saved. Okay? Kaya tayo nandito para mag-share at yung mga hindi nakakakilala sa Panginoon, we pray that God will touch their hearts, open their hearts and minds to see the Lord and also experience living in the Spirit with the Lord. Okay? Another one is the sword of the Spirit. Okay? When Jesus Christ died, He went to heaven and He sent His Holy Spirit to be with us. Siya ang nandito sa earth ngayon, nakasakasama natin. Otherwise, kung walang Holy Spirit dito sa earth, the whole world is in chaos. I don't think na mayroong katahimikan. Talagang walang katahimikan ngayon. Kaya lang, you can just imagine when the world is in chaos. But because the Holy Spirit is here with us, everything, uh, not everything, but at least things are being put in order. So the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of God, Jesus sent His Spirit to be with us so that we will be comforted. When we pray to God and we ask the Holy Spirit to be with us, we ask the Holy Spirit to anoint us, we ask the Holy Spirit to give us knowledge and wisdom, doon pag nag-pray ka, you will find yourself in the Spirit. You will find yourself na uh, there is an awesome God. When we see an awesome God, I mean, there is something deep inside you na in your own experience, nakaka yung mga Kristiyano nakaka-relate sa sinasabi ko, yung naniniwala sa Holy Spirit, naniniwala kay Jesus Christ, they can relate what I am telling them, what I am uh, saying here. There is deep inside you that others do not understand or inside you that others do not see. It is only be seen in the Spirit if you have the yung Espiritu ng Panginoon. Because the Holy Spirit, if He is with us, He will help us in everything. When you pray, you do not just pray about your food, but you have the urge to pray for others. If you are blessed, you have also the urge for others to be blessed. Di ba yung ganun? Pero kung walang Holy Spirit sa'yo, Look at your prayer. Anong pinagdadasal mo? Maybe it's only your needs. But you do not pray for others. Because there is no spirit who is, quen who is quickening your spirit to pray for others. Ika nga, love others as you love yourself. Okay, another one is pray in the spirit. Ito, if you don't have the spirit, kung hindi ka naniniwala sa Holy Spirit, you cannot pray in the spirit. By the way, we can... Uh, yung tawag nito yung blasphemy. Please, sa ating mga Kristiyano, let's prevent ourselves for blaspheming God. Because once na nasaktan natin ang Holy Spirit, we can blaspheme everybody but not the Spirit of God. Because the Spirit of God is very sensitive. Pag iniwanan ka ng Holy Spirit, He will never come back to you. If He is hurt, from you for blasphemy, he will never come back to you. Yun po ang sabi ng Biblia. Later on, I will show you the 
the verse wherein it says there that we do not blaspheme the Holy Spirit because if the Holy Spirit will leave you, He will leave you forever. So kahit anong gawin mo, He will not forgive you. Yun po. Ay, nakakatakot din na i-blaspheme natin ang Holy Spirit. The world was created because of the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit who was there in the beginning, moving into the waters. Itong, itong earth kasi, in the beginning, was only a water. How did God create this? Through Jesus Christ, it is by the uh, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was there. He is one of the... Uh, pag naniniwala kayo sa Trinity, God the Father, the Son, God the Holy Spirit, but they are one, one God, then you will understand what is the function of the Holy Spirit here on earth. Sabi ko nga, the world is in chaos if the Holy Spirit will be taken away. Pasalamat tayo, nandun siya. It will only be done during the seven years tribulation na uh, aalis yung Holy Spirit, yung mga anak ng Panginoon, if you believe, there will be a rapture soon. And only those who have a clean heart and a pure heart will be raptured. Because sabi sa Biblia, only those with a clean hands and a pure heart will see the Lord. So sila yung mararapture. And once the rapture will be taken, will be will take place, the Holy Spirit will be taken out from this earth. And you will see the chaos, what the Antichrist will do during that time. If you don't believe, well, sinasabi na natin ngayon. Okay? So, another one is, be alert. Kailangan be alert tayo. Pag hindi tayo nag-pray, if we do not pray at all times, if we are not, uh, if we neglect our prayer, we cannot be alert. Because, at any time, the devil will come. Ano ba kasi ang function ng demonyo? Wala namang ibang ginawa ang demonyo, kundi sirain ang buhay natin, di ba? He only comes to steal and destroy. Yun lang po ang trabaho ng demonyo. So, kung hindi ka alert in your life, if you do not pray, you do not read your Bible, you do not hear the word of God, mawawala lahat, then pagdating ng sakuna, wala. You will, be, you will be caught up with all those problems. So, kailangan natin be alert. How are we going to be alert? We have to always pray at all times. All kinds of prayer and requests. When you pray, you request. Diba? Ask God. Yung mga ganong prayer. Okay? And pray for others. Another one is, keep on praying for the saints. Ano ba kasi yung mga saints? Okay. Sometimes, are we, are we praying for our pastors? Are we praying for our leaders? Are we praying for our families? Are, are we praying for for our neighbors? Diba? We have to pray for them, especially those who are sharing the word of God. Because without them, nobody hears the word of God. Sabi nga, it is only by hearing and hearing the word of God that we can have faith. So, pag hindi mo naririnig yung salita ng Panginoon, imposibling magkakaroon ka ng faith. Maybe, you are good to mention about God, you know God, but actually, you don't really know God. Okay, so, we have to pray for the saints. Who are the saints? We are the saints if we do the will of God. So we have to pray for others. What are we going to pray for them? Okay, we ask to bless them, God to bless them, God to give them wisdom and knowledge, God to to protect them, yung mga ganon. So we also need to pray for our president, our leaders. Kung sino yung mga namamahala sa atin sa bansang ito. Yung ating mga, oh, we also need to pray for our enemies. Pray for your enemies. Sometimes ako, pag wala akong katahimikan, anong gagawin ko? I have to pray for my enemy. Anong prayer ang sasabihin ko? I secret. Basta I am going to pray for my enemy para magkaroon ako ng katahimikan para sa kanila. Ika nga, love your enemies. ba? Love your enemies. If you love God, you should love your enemies. Ang hirap gawin sometimes. But we have to do it. I don't mean... Ano, pag may mga nang depress sa atin, nang away sa atin, o kaya uh, nagbigay ng sakit sa atin, I don't mean na we have to hate them. For me, I don't hate them. I ignore them but I don't hate them. So, ang ginagawa ko, I pray for them but I ignore them. Especially if they, if they are the people yung 
yung tawag nito, yung parang nag i para ikaw ay magalit, parang yung wala ka namang ginagawa. Ewan ko kung anong ginagawa, yung wala kang ginagawa pero pinag-uusapan ka. <laughs> diba yung mga ganun nakaka-stress? So, uh, what we do is we have to ignore them but we pray for them. Does not mean we hate them. We still love them. How are we going to love them? By praying for them. Kung ano yung kwan, we pray for our enemies. That's, that way, God will be pleased with us. We can ignore them. We just let them do what they want to do. But we pray for them. Okay? Keep on praying for all the sins and be fearless. Ika nga. Pwedeng tayo rin, kailangan magiging matapang tayo. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung matapang, awayin mo na lahat. Hindi yun ang ibig kong sabihin. When we are fearless, wala ka rin ginatatakutan. Bakit? Sino rin ba sila? Di ba? Oh, they are individuals like you. So, if you are fearless, kung pinapakita mong takot ka sa, bakit ba tayo matatakot sa mga tao anyway? Sino ba ang dapat nating katakutan? It is the Lord. Okay? So, let's be fearless. We need to be humble, but we need to be fearless. Huwag naman yung mataas ang tingin sa mga sarili. Yung tipong mga ganon. Hindi yun ang ibig sabihin. We have to some humble ourselves, but we have to be fearless. Okay? So, ito po yung uh, the full armor of God na kailangang ilagay natin sa ating sarili para pag nagkakaroon tayo ng New Year's Resolution na gusto nating baguhin sa ating mga sarili, we can do it by the power of God in the Holy Spirit. Yun lang po yung aking sharing ngayon and I hope sa, sun, sa first Sunday na ito, nakapag-share ako about our New Year's Resolution. To summarize, the full armor of God. Number one is truth. Number three, uh, number two is righteousness. Number three is readiness. Number four is peace. Number five is faith. Number six is salvation. Number seven is sword of the spirit. And then pray in the spirit on all occasion with all kinds of prayer and request. And be alert. And keep on praying for all the sins and be fearless. Yun po yung full armor of God. If we practice this in our life, then I bet you, we can bet our New Year's resolution. Maa-accomplish natin yung ating mga New Year's resolution sa ating buhay. Happy New Year sa lahat and may God bless you.